I'm going to take the top and the bottom off of this beautiful radio, the ICOM 970 Echo because as, as you can see one or two bulbs have gone you can't find anything, any information about them at all I did inquire through ICOM yesterday but they're out of stock since 2006 I did say 2018 the rest of the video but it's 2006 so it's just to take the top off the bottom off easy enough and then chock it up about two inches from the deck and then follow the rest of the videos of taking dropping the front out a little bit maybe if you've got some long thin fingers you might be able to do it without taking dropping the front off but it's an easy job but be careful don't pull the front away once the bolts the bolts are the screws are out because there is a lot of cables there so be careful yeah I've decided to prop it up with a couple of couple of books thick books just to keep it off it doesn't drop down like the 775 so it's it's these bolt screws it's two on either side and that and then it just drops a little bit but you can see there's the three bulbs inside I should think because there is three bulbs and they're <laughs> but they're out of stock the last one to sold at ICOM I emailed them yesterday was in 2008 so I saw some sort some or saw some different bulbs but we'll see what type they are first and whether there's anything on eBay. Well, there is the battery backup. But I haven't got a battery because it's already gone in the 775 some time ago. So I've took those screws out. In fact, if, if, if it was a little higher off the deck, you could leave the lower screw in and just use it as a hinge but have I, have I have <laughs> as I haven't got any more and I'm not going to stuff any more in so that's as far as I'm going to go yeah uh, there's no instructions I'm going to do earth my hands on the cold water tap just in case we get near any of those which are inevitable isn't it now yeah, chip certainly not going to go in there with any anything to prize them out but it does the only thing it shows on LCD on in the um, maintenance manual technical manual is three bulbs nothing about the LCD whatsoever just shows three bulbs in parallel you can see there look they are hopefully that's going to be a turn and click out we'll see <laughs> we'll start with we only want one the furthest one away that one there look it's that side it's slightly darker than the rest well there it is I just twisted and turned and it just popped out oh dear where do we find something like that I've got to send to uh, oof I come, you, I come America Cost, cost me about £10 post and packing. 
<laughs> mm. Think about this. I don't know whether that pops out at all or not, or whether it's a fixture, or whether it's a screw in. We'll see. It's just the they're all, they're all sealed. They, they are they are sealed, and there's just a little a little piece of metal on either side of the when you twist it, and it just rubs on that track those tracks. But I'm going to clean the track. You never know, do you? It could be dirty. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, but you never know. But uh, you just. You just put your nail, uh, your only nail. Don't don't turn uh, nail on your finger or your thumb, and just move it slightly. You and it it's it's not tight at all. Just just comes loose and then you just drop it out. But not don't drop it in there. <laughs> you end up putting it all together and shaking it and everything. <laughs> I'd never see it again. <laughs> I'm just going to put some cleaning stuff on there and on the on the part but there's no way you can substitute that can you for a you can you can stick a diode in there or something and spot and weld it uh, weld it <laughs> yeah right and big weld it <laughs> or no wouldn't we'll never do that but maybe I could move that middle one to the right one and maybe it will give me a, an even light across the, the whole you know instead of dark on one side it could be slightly darker and if I could increase the the somewhere there's a, an adjuster isn't there for the the light I could probably make it work just with two but but one on either side and I'll leave the dead one in the middle if it's dead I'm just going to clean it anyway unfortunately unfortunately <laughs> two bulbs have gone that's the only bulb that's working so it was the middle one on, on that side that's the one that's working so we're going to check them anyway. Whether it's, there are 12 volts, it says 12 volts on the back. That's a good thing. But they are they are sealed. They're like rubberized. But we'll check it with a, a separate 12 volt. But that's that circuit's working there because it's, it's all in parallel. Look. Maybe I should have it in the middle. That one. We'll try that <laughs> for the time being. Well, that's all it is. One the little. The rubber or protection maybe it's too bright uh, exposed like this so it's got a, a rubber covering over it I couldn't get the rubber covering off without uh, breaking it <coughs> it's gone I've tried it with a 12 volt the uh, the one in the middle or the one that's working does work the same with the 12 volt power supply it does work but these don't work so two of them mm -hmm. but use the one in the center I should put them back in to keep dust out and stuff but at least I know now mm. In 2008, the last one we sold in 2008. Now, was he saying the last one we sold, or was it the last one, the only one that was sold in 2008, or was it the last one? Because <laughs> no one else wanted one since 2008. Oh, that's debatable, unless I email him and ask him the question. But they're pretty fast with the returns. Not like some emporiums in the UK. Well, the sun's come out. I was outside earlier, but it was too cold. I've got a new antenna to put up. Ooh, a shot? No, I won't be telling you about it. It's top secret. 
it will be working superb, trust me, on two meters. Ooh. Better than the 510 on two, trust me. See you later. These side bolts or nuts shouldn't, needn't come out anyway to drop the front. Leave those in. It's just those two. In fact, if it's high enough off the deck, the front, maybe two inches with, with packing underneath. You can just uh, take the top one out, loosen the bottom one, and it's a hinge. And you don't even need to take the front off at all. Just the top cover to change the battery. There's the battery look. Just the top cover. Very easy. And nearly as easy as the 775, but I think you have to drop the front because it's the batteries in the middle. But then, no, it may be in a similar place. Look at all this space. No internal power supply in this. You know, it could have been so much smaller. It could have been like the 9130. <laughs> I dread. And that's all I've got inside, look. All my CTCSS. And it works beautifully. Well, interesting. See you later. They're all back in now, just the middle one I've got working.